New at 5, a caution now about dietary supplements. They are now a $40 billion a year industry, but they may not be as safe as you think. 23,000 people a year wind up in the ER after taking a supplement. Consumer reporter Marilyn Moritz on the potential danger and which ingredients you may want to avoid. Dietary supplements. 70% of us take one nearly every day. It's all a magic pill. That's what we all want. You don't need a prescription, and there's the aura of being natural and safe. A Consumer Report survey found half believe manufacturers test their supplements for effectiveness. 38% believe the FDA tests for safety. For the most part, supplement makers don't have to prove that their products are safe. They don't have to prove that they work as advertised. And they don't have to prove the pack of labels say they do. Because the regulations are so weak, dietary supplements can be contaminated, they can be ineffective, they can be spiked with illegal or prescription drugs, and they can have harmful side effects. In response, the Council for Responsible Nutrition says supplements are adequately regulated and the vast majority are safe. Consumer Reports has identified 15 supplement ingredients that have been linked to serious health hazards. Those include caffeine powder, kava, and yohimbe. People use yohimbe for obesity, sexual dysfunction, and depression. But it can raise blood pressure and heart rate, cause headaches, panic attacks, liver and kidney problems, and possibly death. Yet supplements with those ingredients can be found on the shelves of many major retailers. For a closer look, we've put a list of those 15 ingredients on KSAT.com. Just click on the Consumer tab. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.